Today we're cleaning out the chicken coop. I know, it's not the best job, huh? It's not fun, right? Mm -hmm. But it's got to be done. And it's really not too bad, right? So what we're going to do yeah, is we're going to close their um, thing so they can't come in because otherwise they'd walk right up and they'd, and they'd get out. we're making sure that... Yeah, there's no eggs and no chickens in there. So we're good to go. It's been a while since we've cleaned this. So can you hold this open for a second, Eli? Because mm -hmm. it wants to close. So I'm just going to scrape off any of the extra poops okay we're putting this up there it actually fits perfectly we've got the um wheel barrel we're just gonna put everything in there it rained last night so the wheel barrel is a little bit wet let's put this up so this doesn't keep closing on us and eli why don't you do it and get all that in there just mm. use this Get as much as you can. That was a big one. Here, you know what? Hold on. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so I'm removing this because this comes out and make it a little easier to get in there. Failed. No, we can compress it. You're doing it with your hands? No, no. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take this. So once we fill the wheelbarrow, it doesn't hold everything, not all of the hay. Um, we actually, so we kind of do a semi deep litter method. Um, so I said in another video, I clean this out once a week. It's actually more like once a month guys. I don't. So I come in and I throw a bunch of stuff in there. Just depends. It, it, it's, it's been longer than it should. So I throw a bunch of hay in there and then when they poop and I see a lot of poops, I'll take more hay and throw more on. The problem is we were out of hay and I had to buy more. I hadn't gotten to the store to do it and then we just didn't get a chance to. We're gonna wheel this over to our compost bin, okay? It's not too far away, but... Come on, bud, grab the pitchfork, please. This is our compost bin filled with stuff. All right. What I do is I, I come in and I just break this apart. Yeah, don't breathe that in. You can see all the dust. That's, that's, uh, that's a lot of stuff, but you can tell it's starting to break down underneath. So this is the newer bin. We're going to break this apart in just a minute. Um, but this needs to be wet, so, because it's dry. It rained last night, but we've got a cover on this, so. Well then don't uh, step away for a second, I'll do this. What I'm doing is just putting it right in. Super simple. You know what, let's get this a little closer. All right, so now let's go back and get a little bit more. So let's get the rest. There's not a whole lot left. All right, so next I'm just gonna take a broom and you don't wanna use this for inside your house, obviously, nasty, but this will help you get all the rest of the bits what I do. I'm sure there's a better way. If you guys own chickens, you let me know what you think is the best way. Hey, can you go and lift that really quick? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's nice having extra help here from Eli because he can lift this and I can get... Okay, uh, keep that lifted. Eli, go ahead and... Good. Go around and take off the... Um, the steps for a second, please. <laughs> no, it's fine, Eli, it's fine. Okay, that's all. I just wanted to... Yuck, all right. Almost. Yeah, good, good. You can put the steps back now. Okay. Nope, I'm a little cockroach. But, you know, they'll eat it. The chickens will end up eating that cockroach. Just what they do. All right, pretty well done. 
All right, let's close this off. So that way the chickens don't get in. And then we're done. I think, so the nesting boxes, they're not pooping in it. There's a couple feathers, but that's it. There's no poop, no nothing. I think it's clean enough. So I don't think I'm gonna clean that out right now. You know, I'll wait till I see some poop in there. Back to the compost bin. All right, so there we go. It's pretty full. I've got a little bit left, but it's really hard to get out with this pitchfork. So I'm just gonna dump it on the ground. It's no big deal. And then I'm gonna break this one apart. So it's quite dry and it hasn't fully decomposed. So I'm just gonna grab some water and pour it in both of these. And this will end up compacting. So it's full right now. That's how it was last time. And you saw where it went. So this will compact, probably not as much as it did. There's still a lot underneath, but I might be able to get one more cleaning out of this. And by then, hopefully this will be fully broken down and ready to use. But I don't think this is ready. Because I still see a lot of hay. It's not really fully turned to dirt. Or my air conditioner thing, I don't even know what you call it, sticks out, it drips. And so I leave this and it gives me free water. So I'm not using my the city water. We are under kind of a, a ban water usage restrictions kind of and already you can tell that kind of come you know made it drop a little bit so next time this fills up i'm going to come and pour it in these as well because the more water i mean you don't want it sopping wet but it soaks it up pretty well um that was Dang it. Not too bad, luckily. But these have little thorns. I need to cut all these down, but they're my weed eater won't hit it, so I gotta go in with cutters. And I got tons of them around. They're just everywhere, so I haven't had a chance. It's been too hot in the day, I just don't want to do it. You know, I call it laziness, I guess, but I'm quite busy. I've got other things on my plate. So I haven't had a chance to. But this is probably the worst part of having chickens is having to clean out their coop. The rest of it is real easy, but this doesn't happen all the time. And like I said, if you can, if it's not super hot, like we're going to go more into the, once it cools down a lot, we're going to go more into the deep litter method and probably have it last for a while. But I try to clean it out at least once, once a month. Put this back. You can see where I get this. This drips. Comes from my air conditioner. All the condensation. And that'll fill up in a couple hours. Alright, so the worst part is done. Now, if you want to help me, Eli? What is it? We are going to just throw some hay in. Do you mind doing it? Mm-hmm. You know what? Maybe let's uh, put it up here. I'll hold it, and you can just kind of rip it out like this. Yeah, there you go. Good job. I'm trying. I can't even. Hey, watch the tone. You don't need to whine. Just say, hey, it's really hard, Dad. That's all. I get it. It's not easy. Probably need to... And that's fine, you'll get there though, the more you try. Come on, keep trying. You gotta do more to be able to get strong, right? You got it, you're a big boy. And every day you get stronger. You got it, keep going. Even if it's a little bit at a time. Yep. And we, so, if we're gonna do the deep litter, you wanna fill this up quite a bit. You want a good like, I think like four or five inches at least of hay and that allows they'll scratch at it and the poop should drop to the bottom and then whenever you see poop on the top you just cover it with the hay um, and that's what we're going to try to do see if it happens you know if it doesn't start smelling it was because it was summer it was really hot and so um, it was starting to smell 
we had to get this cleaned out, but I think once winter comes here, it gets a little bit cooler. The deep litter method might work coming up where it's going to start cooling down. I mean, we've still got like 90 degree weather, so it's still a little warm, but um, you know, I think in like two weeks, we might start seeing 80 degree weather. It still might be too warm for it. We might need to clean this out once more, but I'm going to try the deep litter method. That's maybe not quite six inches. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and close this off and we'll let them in. And you'll see, they'll, they'll want to come in. As soon as I open this, they'll come bursting in. They like it when it's new. They think that they're going to find some, um, some bugs and stuff to eat. So you can tell. They're all starting to come over. They think there's... Oh, scared her off. <laughs> See? Yep, starting to scratch around. I don't know if it's focusing on her or not, but... All right, I totally forgot to put this in. There we go. kind of funny how they kicked up all this like all on this side left all that open um they do that and they they just mix it all around looking for bugs and whatnot you can see them scratching out there right now poking around um it's just what they do new clean coop so anyway well thanks for watching everyone i will see you guys on the next video now you try to escape the daily grind come on you can come in